Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today's video is about a budget hatch from Hyundai, the Grand i10 Neos. But before going into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to not miss any of my future updates. And the i10 Neos is available in 5 variants, Era, Magna, Sports, Turbo and Asta. It gets 4 engine options and is available in both automatic and manual. The i10 Neos is available in 5 colors and the one in front of it is the Aqua Teal which I personally liked very much and you can also opt for dual tone but it is only limited to this Aqua Teal and white color. The base era variant which is only available in petrol retails at a price of Rs 5.28 lakhs and goes all the way up to Rs 8 lakhs 50,000 for the top of the line Asta diesel model. And the one we have today is the sports petrol automatic variant. And this particular model retails at a price of Rs 7.27 lakhs and all the above mentioned prices are like showroom only. Now this model is also available with a diesel automatic or manual, petrol plus CNG and of course a petrol engine with manual transmission. In terms of dimensions it is 3.8 meters in length, 1.68 meters in width, 1.5 meters in height and the wheel base happens to be 2.45 meters and in terms of safety it gets two airbags, reverse parking sensors, reverse parking camera, high speed alert, follow me home headlamps, ABS with EBD, speed sensing auto door lock, impact sensing auto door unlock, emergency stop signal, rear defogger and seat belt reminder. In the front it gets this gloss black radiator grille with boomerang shaped LED DRLs and Hyundai logo right in the middle and coming to the headlight unit it gets a projector setup for the high and low beam and even the turn indicators are halogen and moving down you also get halogen projector fog lamps and straight ahead let's open the engine bay and under the hood you get Hyundai's 1.2 litre naturally aspirated 4 cylinder cup power petrol engine which produces a peak power of 81 bhp and a maximum torque of 113 newton meters and it is paired to a 5 speed AMT gearbox. The Grand i10 Neos has a claimed fuel efficiency of 20.5 km per litre from its 37 litres fuel tank and there is no insulation provided as it is a petrol engine. And coming to the side it gets these 14 inch gunmetal grey alloy wheels wrapped in 165x70R14 rubber from Seat. And it gets disc brakes at the front and drum brakes at the rear. The outside rear view mirrors get turn indicators. There are no request sensors on offer. Grand item written right there. And moving to the red, this is how the car looks. And on the top it gets a shark fin antenna, sports written right there, red defogger and high mount stop lamp. And these are the reverse parking sensors. And this is the reverse parking camera of the vehicle. It gets an electromagnetic boot release and the boot carrying capacity happens to be 260 liters. And it gets this warning triangle along with the vehicle and the spare wheel is a steel wheel and it is also a full size spare wheel. The tail lamps are also halogens. And moving to the rear seat, the rear door opens quite wide for ingress and egress and it also gets a 1 litre bottle holder. And the inside door handles are finished in silver. And the rear bench can also comfortably accommodate 3 adults. And you get a small hump in the middle for the middle passenger. No adjustable headdress. But the rear seats can be folded down to increase the boot carrying capacity. Adequate amount of knee room and leg room. Headroom is also not an issue. And another support is also good. And in the middle over here you get 2 AC vents for the rear passengers and just below it you get a 12 volt power outlet to charge your phones. Handles placed on either side at the rear and a halogen cabin lamp placed right in the middle. And let's get into the driver's seat. There is no request sensor on the front doors. Front door pocket can also accommodate 1 litre water bottle. And these are the power window controls. 
this is to fold or retract the outside rear view mirrors and the driver's seat gets manual height and recline adjust there is a proper dead pedal and this is the fuse box moving in you get a three spoke steering wheel which is finished in dual color and on the left side you get audio controls and this is the instrument cluster which we'll get to in a bit and these are the wiper controls and these are the headlight controls in the middle you get a 8 inch touch screen unit and it says Hyundai as soon as you turn it on these are the middle AC vents and the center console looks very beautiful and premium as well it gets a single zone automatic climate control and even the switches feel quite premium to use you also get a USB charging port and a 12 volt power outlet and you get some storage space right below it and in the Aster variant you get a wireless charging pad right there and this is the automatic gear lever twin cup holders manual parking brake and the front seats are also quite comfortable to be in and it gets this nice design on the dashboard and some storage space and this is the glove box of the vehicle which is of decent size the Aster variant gets cooling function over here too no auto dimming inside rear view mirror and on the passenger side visor you get a mirror there is no mirror on the driver side visor and coming to the audio system it is an 8 inch touch screen unit which gets Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, connectivity options and it also gets voice recognition and it is paid to 4 speakers which are mounted on the door and this touch screen unit is quite fluid to use and you also get some settings to customize this infotainment system as per your liking and the audio quality is also quite decent considering the price point of the vehicle and shifting into the reverse drive mode activates the reverse parking camera which looks like this and it gets guidelines but they are not adaptive coming to the instrument cluster it gets an analog digital unit and to the left you get the tachometer and on the right you get a 5.3 inch MID unit which shows you the gear position, odometer, fuel level, instantaneous fuel consumption, average fuel consumption etc and on the bottom you get to see some telltale lights and it shows a digital speedometer 